731. I'm Senior Aaron McKellen Carr, and right now, join in the studio with me, special guest. We have the 374th Airlift Wing Commander, Colonel Douglas Delamater. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing outstanding. It's a fantastic week here at uh, Yakota. We've been busy. Uh, the sound of freedom has been uh, loud and clear, and uh, we've been moving the mission and uh, getting ready to celebrate the holiday. So it's, uh, I couldn't be more excited. Well, absolutely. Well, we were talking about being busy. What, what all has been going on? Well, we're ginning up for Operation Christmas Drop. As you know, it's the longest-running humanitarian relief effort in the Department of Defense's history, and uh, we're proud to be part of it, kind of leading uh, on the leading edge of it, in fact, uh, providing the lift that uh, delivers over 80 tons of humanitarian airlift or relief supplies to uh, Micronesian islands uh, throughout the Pacific. Uh, actually, this year, over 50 islands uh, throughout Micronesia and, and the Republic of Palau uh, will receive Operation Christmas Drop uh, bundles of relief supplies, medicines, uh, the things that they need, uh, that they otherwise would not be able to get. So we're just we're thrilled to be part of that. It's a historic operation, and uh, our airmen are really motivated for it. And we're also <laughs> uh, right now, uh, you know, it, as you as you probably have heard, uh, participating in a major force generation exercise. Uh, it was a very short notice uh, exercise to test our ability to respond. You know, as we are ginning up for the holidays, and we are celebrating and reconstituting our airmen and, re and uh, regenerating with our families. Uh, this exercise in particular focuses on our readiness and, and just kind of serves to point out that even though it's going to be the holiday season, we never let our guard down and we're ready to go. We've uh, launched the entire fleet uh, in support of uh, generating uh, uh, combat air power out of Misawa Air Base, uh, simulating a response, uh, a contingency response here that, again, we're ready at a moment's notice and we maintain that readiness to do. So it's, it's been a, just a great week. Absolutely. Big shout out to all of those airlifters that are participating in uh, Misawa Thunder. And uh, also, you know, this time of the year is December. It's time for uh, holiday giving, and we're getting in the holiday spirit today. Amen to that. We, uh, we actually have today, uh, starting this <laughs> afternoon uh, at 1600, the first inaugural Yakota <laughs> holiday spectacular, we're calling it. Uh, holiday Palooza was, was considered as a name, but we're calling it the holiday spectacular. Uh, it's uh, going to start out with a parade that's going to involve three different service bands. Uh, we have cheerleading squads, the car show. We also have the traditional, you know, service uh, holiday parade uh, participants, which include our our emergency response vehicles. Uh, I'm I'm told a, a a plus size individual in a red suit with a white sash may be involved, <laughs> may make an appearance. Uh, but uh, we have taiko drum performances. There's going to be dancers. And uh, it's just going to be a fun event. Uh, hoping everybody gets out there. Uh, it's an important engagement event as well. We're going to have our Japanese uh, brothers and sisters on base with us from our friendship associations, some local town leaders. Uh, so we're going to be having a grandstand right in front of the wing headquarters. But the parade route uh, has been sent out. So uh, we encourage you guys to come out. Everybody, fr friends, family, uh, from the local community, uh, and celebrate the holiday season with us. Absolutely. The parade starts at 4 o'clock. I believe the tree lighting ceremony at 5 o'clock at the main chapel. And yep. then 6 o'clock they have the after party with Santa and uh, Mrs. Claus. They said she might make an appearance as well. Well, so. I, well that is a <laughs> bonus. That's a bonus item. And, again, that's absolutely right. Yep, the parade starts at 1600 out the supply gate. It'll make its way through the main portions of the base and then culminate in uh, tree lighting at 1700 in front of the base chapel. Well, while we're also talking about being in the holiday spirit, we have some other guests in the studio. And one of them is in particularly holiday spirit. You know, got the uh, three stars on it. <laughs> Santa hat, we have the United States Force of Japan Commander and 5th Air Force Commander, Lieutenant General Sam Angelella. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning, Kellen. Thanks for uh, having us over this morning. And we also have USFJ and 5th Air Force Command Chief, Chief James Laurent. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great, sir. And just to be just to be clear, I am not the overly sized <laughs> red man. <laughs> as far as you know. a lot of people looking at me, man. That's not me. <laughs> all, right, all right. I'm glad you cleared that up, sir. And uh, General Angelella, you know, it's always a pleasure having you in the studio, and, and this is uh, another great opportunity. And uh, what do you have for us today? Yeah, one of the things I wanted to do, uh, you know, the word is out there that we're going to update the liberty policy this weekend. And, you know, we all just listened to uh, Colonel Delamater talk about all the fantastic things that our airmen and, and the rest of our service members are doing out here in Japan. And, you know, we just uh, finished the Thanksgiving weekend it was a it was a long weekend, and Chief, what did you do over the weekend? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you know, a four day weekend is always great, and so I got to spend some time with my family. But I also Thanksgiving Day, I got to go out and start off the day with uh, 
serving a Thanksgiving meal at the defect, and Kellen was well, even one of the people we served to. I got, I got to see both of you. You served That's by right. both Kellen of you. And I, <laughs> Kellen and I got a selfie done and all that stuff. I know, so. and, and, uh, sir, I'm trainable. I'm sir, trainable. I, I, need, I need that selfie, sir. I, I was telling her about it. I was like, I got a selfie with a three-star general. Okay, Nobody believes it. me. So All right. It's coming. It's and coming. Of course, like everybody else, I think I overindulged in the great Thanksgiving meal that afternoon and, and uh, got to rest the rest of the weekend. So it was it was a good weekend. Well, that's great. Absolutely. So, but here's one of the other things I did over the weekend too. Uh, unfortunately, we had seven serv- or four service members uh, over the weekend arrested for alcohol-related misconduct. And I got to tell you, you know, all that stuff it just kind of puts a damper on all the fantastic things that our service members are doing throughout Japan. And I spent a lot of time uh, working on updating the liberty policy and and getting some more liberties for our service members. So this weekend, I want everyone to really put a little extra effort into that. Be a good wingman, be a good battle buddy, a good shipmate, and and keep each other out of trouble. Drink responsibly if you choose to drink. Uh, Celebrate the holidays like Colonel Delamater talked about, but do it responsibly. And and let's uh, get this past us. Absolutely. And uh, good stuff right there. Anything that you wanted to add to that, Chief? Yeah, let's talk about some of the great things that are going on around Japan. Well, I think, you know, as as Colonel Delamater talked about in the general keyed on too you know we have a lot of great things that are going on within the gates of yokota air base but if you look outside of our gates we're doing some great things we've got uh various service members from all over japan that are hosting uh, christmas parties for orphanages they're going out and they're cleaning up different areas they're visiting different areas they're they're uh working with the local communities and really involved in that and that's the vast majority of our service members so as we we got those small few that are getting in trouble the vast majority of our service members are really doing some fantastic stuff and going out there. And, and this week, actually, I had a conference with the component SELs and the Japanese SELs down in Yokosuka, and we couldn't stop talking about the great stuff they're doing. We talked a lot about some of the discipline stuff, but we really, really hit on some of the great stuff that we're doing in Japan as service members. Absolutely. And what can service members uh, stationed here in Japan, what can they look forward to um, from here on into the future, in the near future at least? Well, one of the things we've done, uh, of course, is we've aligned, we're going to align Okinawa. It, it's going to become effective on uh, Monday the 9th. Uh, we aligned Okinawa with the mainland. We moved the curfew itself from midnight to 1 o'clock. We're still not going to be able to drink in public after midnight. But uh, uh, I really think that uh, we've done well over the past couple of years. This was an a, a uncharacteristically uh, bad weekend for us. Uh, I was a little disappointed. I know you are too, but you know, l- look at all the great things that we're doing. The the children's festivals, the uh, uh, all the the war fighting preparation, and the, and the defense of Japan. Uh, we talk about uh, delivering turkey dinners uh, in Aruma City. Uh, we have the the junior sailors out there doing all kinds of great things. We have. Uh, uh, the Marines in Okinawa continuing to follow up uh, on the relief efforts. There's just so much great things going on, and, and, and it's been a really super year. And that's why I got the authority to really relax a little bit on the, on the curfew. And so I think if we continue to do these great things and we, we continue to show that we're great uh, 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 partners here in Japan, uh, things will just continue to get better. Definitely. I, I just saw a story on AFN, got to shout us out a little bit, you know, that, you know they, uh, the service members cleaning up the Fusa City Park. You know, it's a almost a 60-some-year-old park, and they're actually yeah. cleaning it up, you making know, it operable. There, there, there are no better ambassadors uh, than the 99.999% of our airmen, soldiers, sailors, and Marines that, that are here in Japan. Uh, you know, that point zero 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 one percent however, um, you know, can have a strategic impact if they're out there, especially when you consider the, the dangers of alcohol-related incidents. So, uh, you, know, every, you know, to that 99.999%, thank you. Uh, thank you to your leadership. Uh, and, Joe, for, uh, just please continue to focus on being good wingmen uh, so that we can keep that .0001% out of trouble uh, and, and keep them from uh, damaging and undoing all the great things the rest of us are uh, engaged in. Absolutely. And, uh, General, any parting words? No, I really am proud of everyone. I'm getting ready to do my end-of-year wrap-up. Uh, I want to thank all the family members and the service members who are over here for deployed. We do have uh, family members and service members. Uh, we have service members uh, deployed elsewhere in the world uh, 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 doing great work, and I really want to thank you for your service. Please enjoy the holidays. Uh, spend time with each other. Don't let anyone spend the holidays by themselves. Put your arms around each other and uh, and really enjoy this uh, great year that we've had. 
Absolutely. And uh, before you gentlemen go, uh, I got to make sure we get a selfie. I, <laughs> I need this selfie right here. Need this selfie. All right. But uh, thank you very much, Chief Laurent, Colonel Della Mater, and General Angelella. Um, always a pleasure having you all in the studio. And uh, thank you very much for uh, keeping us updated and everything. So, all right, we're going to keep the music going. And uh, why not? We're going to get in the Christmas spirit. And also with Kobe Calais, here she is with Mistletoe. Positive note. <laughs>